Okay, so here is my sketchbook. Uh, it's very small, as you can see. It's about the size of my hand. Uh, I decorated it with this flower design on the front and the back. And um, yeah, there's not much to it, but I've enjoyed making little ink drawings in it. So here's our first one. So this drawing I actually made after seeing my roommate just sitting in her room with her headphones on, painting her nails with like the light streaming in from the side onto her from her window. And I thought it was so beautiful. So I just did this little sketch. It doesn't really capture the moment, but I like the drawing and I haven't ever done anything else with it, but maybe I will soon. Um, here's a little doodle. Not much backstory on this. I just thought it was fun. <laughs> uh, here's a little commission project I did making giant tarot card artworks, like watercolors with ink over them uh, for a friend. Here are some potential designs. I was trying to make a friend of mine a shirt uh, for his birthday. If you're an artist, do you also make art for every gift? Because you can never think of anything else because that's what I do. So let me know if you guys relate or if I'm just like cheap and I'm creative. Um, but yeah, I was just sort of trying to come up with random interesting designs this friend and I ended up settling on this one and so I painted this in white onto a black t-shirt for him for his birthday I believe it was. Uh, here's just some little doodles, some girls, they're a little more cartoony. Uh, this is from a while ago, these are less so my style now but I still think they're cute, I don't hate them. Um, here's some more concepts that sort of I thought might make interesting full pieces, but I haven't made them yet. Uh, here's some more kind of cute little magical uh, girl cartoons. And then I didn't use this for a very long time, um, almost a year maybe, until I <laughs> went on a trip uh, this summer and then I decided to bring it with me and start using it again after having watched a bunch of sketchbook flip-throughs on YouTube and <laughs> thinking it would be fun to make my own. So I wanted to finish this one. Uh, so this is a documentation of my first day on this trip to North Carolina. Um, there's not much in here because honestly we we drove all night and we slept most of the day. So here, here are two of my friends just chilling on the couch and there was the landscape was really beautiful and that was a, the main thing we got to enjoy on the first day was just looking around at how beautiful it was. Um, so I drew some of the plants. This is just a little doodle. Uh, so here's our second day in North Carolina where we hung out with, we stayed uh, in an Airbnb on a farm. And so there are all these animals. So I drew some of the ducks around. I drew all the veggies and food that we uh, brought with us to make pasta for dinner. And then I drew sort of the landscape, fields, mountains, clouds, of this little tree. Uh, yeah, so here's our third day. And um, did these little snippets. So this is uh, downtown Waynesville. We just sort of passed through. This is uh, my reflection in the car window. This is hiking through the woods. Uh, it was very foggy. I couldn't really capture that in an ink drawing. Uh, and then here are some of the barn cats that I got to hang out with and meet uh, early in the morning. So, you can get a better look at those. So here is our last day. Um, we walked by a lake. I took a bath in the giant nice bathtub at the Airbnb. We, I made myself some pasta for dinner, which I never cooked, so I was kind of proud of myself, honestly, for that. Um, and then we hiked up by some mountains, and so here's a little view, and that hike led to this waterfall, so I tried to draw a waterfall over here. Um, yeah, so after this I was home and I was just doodling. So here's just a bunch of decadent food items <laughs> strewn across the table. You can probably tell from this drawing that I was hungry. <laughs> and uh, 
can't cook, so I was just imagining all of the delicious foods I would have if I could go out to eat. Um, here's just some more little live sketching. Um, most of this so far hasn't been live sketching. It's either imaginative or from photos that I took. Uh, this page is live though in a park in my neighborhood. Here's the playground, someone laying and reading by a tree. There's a car in the background. Uh, a mom holding her baby. This drawing is so bad, but it was so cute. This mom was just like, had her little baby scooped under her arm and it looked so adorable. Uh, and then I drew some oak leaves. There's a lot of oak trees at this park. Um, next page is just plant doodles. These are a little more cartoony and illustrative. So on this next page, I was trying to do some little fashion and human figure sketching. Uh, these are, I think, all based loosely on photos that I saw on Tumblr <laughs> that I had stored away. I have been an avid Tumblr user since probably 2011, maybe? Uh, and I still use it, and you know what? I'm not ashamed. When I post or reblog pictures of people that I like, I tag them all, so then later, I can just go through my people tag and then I can look at them all and a lot of times it is really helpful for pose and figure inspiration when I'm trying to practice drawing. Uh, here is a full spread uh, that is also loosely based on a Tumblr photo. Uh, I added in this background and the face honestly doesn't look all that similar. <laughs> But I really like how this little drawing turned out, and I might try to turn this into something. Uh, she does have a lot of scribbles on her face because I was trying to like represent the contours of her cheek, and I just kept doing them wrong and redoing it, and it was in pen, so um, that was that. But I still think it looks all right. All right, and here's our last spread. Um, and this is my new apartment. I just moved into a studio, which is very exciting for me. It's my first time living alone, and I love to be alone. So <laughs> this is great. Uh, most of it is not decorated at all yet, but I just have like right next to my door this sort of tiny section finished with a little like table for when I leave that has my wallet and things in it. So I drew that. I drew my shelf with all my books and other cute decorative things, and I have some artworks on the wall. Uh, and then I did two little close-ups over here of some items on my shelf. This is two books stacked with a teacup and a ceramic uh, plum on it that my old roommate made and gave to me because she is a lovely ceramicist and lovely person. Uh, and this is a ceramic pear that I also got from her. Um, yeah. Look up Zoe Jackson Ceramics on Instagram. She makes lovely things. So that's the end of this sketchbook. I just drew this little cartoon waving goodbye and a little eye because I just felt like I needed something on this page. Um, yeah, that's everything. That's sort of the thoughts and explanations behind all of these pages. Let me know if you guys sketch for similar reasons, with similar inspirations, or if your process is completely different, I would love to hear about your sketchbook process. So let me know. All right, thank you so much for watching, and um, I might try to make more little art videos soon. I don't know, this was fun, so stay tuned.